What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about Amped Batch. This one here might sound so basic, but trust me, there's a lot into it. This one here won't include any stats, this is just all about how it actually works and some other details about the activation. And by the way, if you haven't watched my recent videos yet, these ones here will be on the channel, would be really awesome if you guys can check it out. So now, let's get right into it. So now for the definition, reduces the penalty that fatigue has on the player and their ability to make shots. It is pretty much a straightforward, it will just help you make shots when your stamina is drained. Now the question is, how to activate the badge? So first, for the short answer, for you to activate the badge, your stamina should be drained enough before taking the shot. The bar should be drained up to somewhere around the midpoint of the bar. And in terms of shots, it can work on 2s, 3s, fades, step backs, pretty much on all jump shots. That's the short answer, but if you want to really know how it works, I'll show you these. The reason why I can't tell you a legit point, like the exact minimum drain requirement, is because it keeps on changing. And here you can see it's almost at the half of the bar, and badge still didn't activate. But in here, it was still too far from the midpoint, but badge activated on this one. The big difference between them is with this one here, I took the shot straight away. And with this one here, I stopped for a while before taking the shot. Of course, you can still activate the badge even you stopped for a while before shooting. That sequence there could have activated the badge if the stamina was a bit lower. What I'm trying to say here is that the badge activation doesn't rely on stamina bar alone. The drain requirement can move for a bit depending on how quick you take the shot and there could be some other variables that can affect it. That's just the long answer, but for you not to be confused, I think the shortest way to say it is that stamina bar should be around half drained before you take the shot. But again, it can be changed based on some other variables. So before I proceed, just want to invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed testings on stuff like badges, attributes, jump shots, dribbling styles, and lots of other stuff. And I'm doing YouTube full time, so expect a lot of videos. Last year, I made like around 400 videos. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Trust me, I got you covered for the whole year. Now going back, here are some other details about the badge. I know this badge leaves an impression of being a play shot badge, like after you burn your stamina while dribbling, this can boost your shots. But maybe some players don't realize that it can be used on catch and shoots as well. If you burn your stamina running around off ball, if you take the shot with stamina drained accordingly, this badge will activate. Next one, we all know draining your stamina can make your shot slower, but this badge here won't help you make it faster. It doesn't touch shot speed. In here, that's Hall of Fame Amped, and this one here doesn't have it, and their shot speed are just the same. Next one, it doesn't matter what upgrade you have, the drain requirements remain the same. Next one, in terms of stacking with other badges, it pretty much work on lots of shooting badges, like catch and shoot, Agent 3, Corner Specialist, Volume Shooter, and lots of others. Now for the recommendation, at this point it's really hard to say what's the best for you without having stats, but safe to say that it deserves a spot on your shooting badge loadout. Probably at least bronze or silver, because it looks like that the activation rate of this badge is really good. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.